in today's reading of Matthew, uh, in today's reading of Matthew, Jesus said that he does not come to bring peace to the earth, but a sword. And when we think about that, that's a little disturbing, considering the fact that after countless Bible school study sessions and Sunday school sessions, we're taught that Jesus is love. But, as we all know, the sword probably means justice. And justice can bring peace. But justice seems a little rough for Jesus. It may seem rough, but if we look back at history, it wasn't that rough at all. Let's start back when he was 12. Jesus walked into the temple, and as a young boy, was fascinated. But he saw something that he could not believe. He saw gold, riches, and trade being sold and bribery in the temple, in a house of God where it did not belong. Jesus became enraged. He was not happy at all. It, was, it had no place there. He ran out screaming, flipping the tables, yelling, throwing the gold on the ground, and most likely also enraging the priests at the temple. Now, if that's not radical enough, I don't know what is, because that's justice for God. Justice for getting rid of the sin and what is there that takes us away from what God is. Jesus also said that he is here to turn a family against himself. Now, that might not make sense at first, but let's look back at the 1960s. The problem of racism was often a topic, I guess you could say, that made household conversations into arguments. And it was generally the kids against the parents. And like we know, the civil rights movement, the bus boycott, all that was in the name of justice for other people. And that was literally turning children against the parents. Now, I don't know what you think justice is. I don't even know if you've ever had justice done to you or if you've had done justice yourself. But I think we're all called to do it. And as justice is, and as it always has been, it's the righteous thing to do. Help someone out in the time of need. Help someone out when they don't have anybody to talk to or when they're feeling and the people who are not being just or dignified in any sort of way need to have justice. And within that justice, you can bring peace. So today I ask you, have you done justice? And have you had justice done?